Okay, since you're watching this, I guess you all realize that I never got to the range before my sights came. May, I don't know why you realize that, but I didn't get to the range before the sights came. And I'm going to go all Quentin Tarantino on all of you today is that I'm going to film this one out of sequence. Uh, here's my finished product. Uh, sights are installed. Went with the uh, the True Glow, and I've noticed from I had other True Glows with uh, with the tritium and the um, and the fiber optics. The tritium doesn't glow as bright at night, but that's what I got this little guy for. Okay, what I've noticed with the with the fiber optic sights though, they are much brighter during the out uh, during the lighting conditions that you're more likely to face or 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 or, or, or be involved in. It, it really captures the light and really makes a nice sight picture. They went on fairly easily. Um, I'm going to show you most of the install, and, to, and you know, most of it is on camera. I'm, um, you know, doing stuff like this to a tiny little viewfinder is a little bit difficult, especially with the wife in the background. Hey, say something, dear. Hi, honey. You see, I actually, I actually am a married man. I'm, it's not just me and that dog. Um, Hi. She was actually here for this video. Generally, I do this stuff when she's not around, so I can get into character and I can avoid any performance anxiety. But today, I said, "What the hell?" Right. We're both here and I wanted to get these on. So here we go. Finished product. Let's cut to the install and then I'll finish up on the back end with some thoughts and then we'll have to get this to the range at some point, but the dog wants to go out. So let's, uh, let's cut to the install and I'll see you on the backside. And we're rolling. Okay, first attempt with my new, my snappy new camera. I got the side pusher tool here. We got my slide here. And these are going to be the sights we're going with. These uh, True Glow uh, Tritium Fiber Optics. So it's kind of a you know one of those combo things. Because in my experience, I've learned that I, I kind of like the fiber optic more than the night sight aspect of it. But we'll get started. Uh, first thing, I'm going to try and do this through the viewfinder of the camera. So if I have to cut away, understand it's because I can't see a goddamn thing. Um, this is the tool. This is the tool. As we know, to get the front side off of a Glock, you got to get this tool. You got to undo that hex nut over there. And I'm going to actually, I'm not going to do it through the viewfinder because I can see maybe you can, it kind of fits on there and it just unscrews. Oh, this is going to be a snap, dear. My wife's in the background. Ordinarily, I don't make these videos with my wife in the background because I get performance anxiety. But in this particular case, I'm going to give it a shot. Maybe she'll even want to come on uh, camera. So anyway, you got that little screw there. And this little thing, this little guy here should, of course, doesn't want to come out. Here's your polymer front sight, which, of course, I'm going to save. And I think I have to reuse this screw, right? I... No, I don't. There she is. Now, now she wants to be on video. I don't think I have to reuse the screw, so I'll put that in there a little bit, back that out. This is going to be saved. So here we go. That's what you're, if in case you don't notice it, in case you never saw it before, that's how you take the front side off of a Glock. And of course, it's an oblong hole, so in theory, well not in theory, in a practice too, this piece is going to go right in. It's just a screw-on piece. Uh, I am going to stop it now because I realize an important thing I'm missing is the Loctite. You're going to want to put a little bit of blue Loctite on this portion right here so that front sight, so, so that, that hex nut doesn't dance out while you're firing and then your your uh, your front sight goes on vacation. So let's take a break and I'll get some blue Loctite. Okay, I took the liberty of taking the sights out of the package. These are the rear sights. That's going to be the, the, the real pain in my ass. But for now, this front sight should be fairly easy and it this it's about the same height you know I honestly you could probably just replace the front sight but not gonna do that okay so let's do a little dry fit here oops not like that I'm not it does come with its own hex nut which comes right off Put that just off camera so I could lose it. Okay, so that's going to fit right in there. Right in there. He said, fit right in there like that. And you see it had that hole was kind of oblong. 
so it, it's still going to have some wiggle to it so the the trick here is to keep it as straight as possible while you're tightening huh you probably could just keep that while you're tightening that that nut uh, we're going to do a little of this this tool really should have been magnetic and now we're going to get some blue loctite when it comes to loctite I'm of a mind that a little goes a long way especially when it falls right off the, the tool there's another issue where I can't see what I'm doing but I'm gonna fight through it okay again a little goes a long way and that's probably too much but okay now we're gonna start that off if I can get that in there Do I have any chance of getting that in there? Nope, fell right out. Okay, let's reset that and try again. And we're back. Okay. That, I'm talking on camera, honey. Okay. And you see that I did it off camera because in order to put it on with because I'm cheap and I bought the cheapest tool even though it's a True Glow, true glow tool, it's not magnetic so putting it in like that to screw it in was impossible I had to actually kind of hold it over my head and let gravity keep the, uh, the, the the hex nut in there but you can see it's pretty straightforward it goes on it screws in I can honestly say the biggest challenge because this has such a wide blade I should have thought of that it, it's such a long piece keeping it totally straight and honestly it really wouldn't cant too much either way but as you're tightening it obviously wants to torque so finding it keeping it straight enough to the eye and then holding it there while torquing it in was the biggest challenge to it and I use the word challenge loosely because it really wasn't that much of a challenge and uh, there's the beginnings of my new site picture I'm even getting that, you find there you go, the beginnings of my new site picture okay so now for my next trick I'm going to set this up my, this site push tool, I'm going to set it up, I'm going to put the proper inserts in there to capture the slide um, this is something I'm not going to do through a viewfinder because I obviously don't want to mar up my slide and fuck everything up So I'm going to get the proper inserts in there and by the time I come back for on the next segment I'm going to have the slide locked into the site pusher tool We'll get the sights off and hopefully put the new sights on without too much cursing. So uh, stand by All right, so here we are first let's take a walk around the site pusher tool It's actually a very nice one if you can get that brand uh, it's heavy it, it seems like it's gonna give me enough leverage and it has the nylon inserts that go against the slide nylon insert that goes against the slide in there you lay you put it in there the the, the base raises to, to incrementally you can get it right in there you lock it in on the side lock it in on the front and then it's just gonna be a matter of cranking this thing down and pushing this uh, pushing this side off so let me reposition everything and uh, we'll, we'll get cranking it's on and I'll speed it up because you need to see me crank this thing off but let's just see and look at that it's pulling that stock sight right the hell out if I can get this new sight in there with that much ease this is gonna be a goddamn miracle but yeah okay cranks this stock sight right out I'll definitely speed that up but I'll get it to the, to the money shot oh that's it okay so we'll pull that out we'll, we'll, we'll crank this thing out of there we'll pull it out and uh, we'll put the new site in I'm gonna probably start it off here's the new site obviously it dovetails and has a set screw uh, it has tritium in it even and and also the uh, the uh, fiber optic I'm gonna get it started by hand and then when I come back it should be set up and I'll be pushing it back in with my site pusher tool again this is impossible to do through a viewfinder so it's just, there's gonna be some stops but obviously you know how to change sites guys I, I don't think I'm, I'm cheating you of any any riveting video by having me take this thing out of the clamps putting pulling that piece all the way out set starting this one off and, and cranking it back in so stand by okay we're back and far be it for me to ever look a gift horse in the mouth but if I'm gonna to be totally honest with you I would have preferred to have a little more resistance putting these things on 
uh, they went right in just about all the way. So what that tells me is that the set screw is going to be doing most of the heavy lifting when it comes to keeping these things in place. Um, I don't want to be adjusting sights my whole life, so I'm probably going to put a dab of um, blue Loctite on that set screw as well if it starts dancing all over the place. But for now, I'll just see how it runs with uh, without it. Uh, so, you know, my, again, this is about as exciting as, uh, as what, watching me turn a screwdriver. But it goes on there, and I'm going to push these sights over to make the fine adjustment. Now, again, I'd rather not do this through a viewfinder, okay? So you get the idea. I'm going to put these in. I'm going to try and get as centered as possible, and then I'm going to tighten that set screw. And uh, I, I, you know what? To give you the money shot, I'll, I'll let you see me tightening the set screw. How about that? But in the meantime, let me bring this up to eye level so I can actually get these sights where I want them to be. Okay, and as promised, here's the money shot. First, again, you do it by eye, and I'm, I'm not a gunsmith, but it looks straight to me. Does it look straight to you? Looks like it's even on the slide. Looks like that is even enough. And now I'm, I'm going to go. It actually, it got a lot tighter, he said with a smile, as it got pushed into the dovetail. So um, I feel a little more confident just rolling with this set screw without any Loctite on it right now. I'm not going to murder it. Just make it snug. Uh, if the sight starts dancing around, I will certainly uh, Loctite that. But, you know, here's the slide. I'll show you what the gun looks like in a minute. There's my new sight picture. I don't know why I can't see this through the damn camera. There's my new sight picture. And looking good. Let's get this thing back together and get some, get some closing thoughts on this. See, no great shakes, right? And although I did some of it off camera, I think you can understand that the parts that are off camera are simply because, again, it's hard to see through it. The, the camera's literally this big and the viewfinder is that big. Working through that viewfinder is tough and trying to get, um, trying to get the, 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 the hex nut into the, the, the front sight from working overhead, it was just not gonna happen on camera. But it was all pretty straightforward and what you saw was pretty much how it happened in real time. And uh, here we go. Here's uh, here's the new sight picture. I do like the fiber optics. Um, they'll glow. I'm assuming they'll glow light. Fiber optic combo uh, night sights will tend to glow at night. At least you, you'll get some sight picture. I'm, I'm sure the um, uh, not the true glow. The uh, what, what's the what, what, what's the big expensive one? Um, it'll come to me as a uh, Trigicon Trigicon sights. I mean, I'm sorry. I'm not going to spend two hundred fifty dollars on sights. I mean, but th th these. These are going to be everything that I need, especially when paired up with the tactical light there. And here's your final product. And by final product, I do mean final product. This is probably all I'm going to do to this gun. Uh, when I first got into this, I was thinking, you know what, maybe I'll, uh, I'll make it more of a, a kit type of thing. But no, I, I, as I said in the, in the last video, I think everything that you change on the inside of a Glock is adding a point of failure. And I don't want to really do that. And as far as keeping, continuing to tack stuff on the outside, um, I'll give you my feeling on that after the range uh, in, in impressions, right? Because I, I, I do have some reasons why, you know, I'm resisting the urge to add different colors and controls and stuff like that on it. There, there, there is a reason behind that. I, I want to keep this more low key and clandestine. Uh, with that said, this is going to be it, unless any of these things proved themselves to be not optimal. Um, if the light, the light seems bright, but again, it does stick out a little bit. If it turns out that muzzle, muzzle blast is going to start to cook this thing or damage it, then the light might not be the right light for this gun. Uh, if the sights just suck, which I don't see how, I mean, they, they're really, they're looking good. They're very bright and they're, they're looking good. They, they look sharp on the gun. If they're just, you know, if they're just going all over the place, that's probably my fault. But if they're just going all over the place, then maybe a different sight option might be it. But uh, assuming nothing fails in practice, this is going to be the uh, the home defense gun as it goes. Uh, next video, it's going to be range. It has to be range. I have to see how all this stuff works as a unit to see if it's viable uh, to, 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 to the, the purpose that I want to carry it for, but not, well, you know, use it for. And uh, we'll take it from there, and I'll, I'll, I'll put some bows on it. I'll make some commentary, and uh, we'll have some fun on the next one. Anything to add, dear? Uh, no, dear. Okay, that is, she, she has nothing to add. And it is my wife. It's not just someone I picked up off the street and tied up in there, right? Stop lying. And you're supposed to say, help, help, police. <laughs>
Yeah. Okay. See what I, see what I'm working with here, folks. All right. After the range, we'll uh, we'll see how this thing performs. <laughs> 